Um, I'm surprised that there's no colour picker in the um, XAML WinRT managed world. Uh, I could be bothered waiting for anyone to create it, so I'll just, I'll just, I just ended up creating my own. So here it is. It's what I've done. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this, but the, the option that I chose was, in my opinion, the easiest. And I've got three images that um, that hold uh, that hold the the view of what the color picker looks like. And all um, all I do is I find the pixel position of where the user's mouse is or the the finger is, and under that position, I'll get the pixel and get the color of that pixel. And I'm using Sharp DX, the um, the, the actually the toolkit to pull that information out. So when, if I run it here, for you, there's three types of color pickers that I have. And as I mentioned earlier, they're just bitmaps and the the position of the, um, the mouse or the finger, and that's me moving my finger around, I use Sharp DX, the toolkit, to pull out the um, pixel information at that in that pixel buffer and that holds the RGB and A and yeah that's the simple color picker so all you need to do is if, if you want another type of color picker just provide a different type of bitmap with the type of um, gradient that you want or the type of um, the way that you want the the color swatch to look like and then um, everything should flow easily. Uh, the, the, the pixel buffer and getting the pixel off that buffer should all be relative, uh, should be the, the exactly the same regardless of the type of squash that you use. Yeah, so this is the WinRT XAML Sharp DX Managed Color Picker.